the power of an assumed major premise. Your mind works like a syllogism. This means that whatever major premise your conscious mind assumes to be true determines the conclusion your subconscious mind comes to in regard to any particular question or problem in your mind. If your premise is true, the conclusion must be true as in the following example. Every virtue is laudable, kindness is a virtue, therefore, kindness is laudable. Another example is as follows. All formed things change and pass away, the pyramids of Egypt are formed things, therefore, someday the pyramids will pass away. The first statement is referred to as the major premise, and the right conclusion must necessarily follow the right premise. A college professor, who attended some of my science of mind lectures in May, 1962, at Down Hall, New York, said to me, Everything in my life is topsy-turvy, and I have lost health, wealth, and friends. Everything I touch turns out wrong. I explained to him that he should establish a major premise in his thinking, that the infinite intelligence of his subconscious mind was guiding, directing, and prospering him spiritually, mentally, and materially. Then, his subconscious mind would automatically direct him wisely in his investments, Desi sons, and also heal his body and restore his mind to peace and tranquility. This professor formulated an overall picture of the way he wanted his life to be, and this was his major premise, infinite intelligence leads and guides me in all my ways. Perfect health is mine, and the law of harmony operates in my mind and body. Beauty, love, peace, and abundance are mine. The principle of right action and divine order govern my entire life. I know my major premise is based on the eternal truths of life, and I know, feel, and believe that my 36 subconscious mind responds according to the nature of my conscious mind thinking. He wrote me as follows, I repeated the above statement slowly, quietly, and lovingly several times a day knowing that they were sinking deep down into my subconscious mind, and that results must follow. I am deeply grateful for the interview you gave me, and I would like to add that all departments of my life are changing for the better. It works. The subconscious does not argue controversially. Your subconscious mind is all wise and knows the answers to all questions. It does not argue with you or talk back to you. It does not say, you must not impress me with that. For example, when you say, I can't do this. I am too old now. I can't meet this obligation. I was born on the wrong side of the tracks. I don't know the right politician. You are impregnating your subconscious with these negative thoughts, and it responds accordingly. You are actually blocking your own good, thereby bringing lack, limitation, and frustration into your life. When you set up obstacles, impediments, and delays in your conscious mind, you are denying the wisdom and intelligence resident in your subconscious mind. You are actually saying in effect that your subconscious mind cannot solve your problem. This leads to mental and emotional congestion, followed by sickness and neurotic tendencies. To realize your desire and overcome your frustration, affirm boldly several times a day, the infinite intelligence which gave me this desire leads, guides, and reveals to me the perfect plan for the unfolding of my desire. I know the deeper wisdom of my subconscious is now responding, and what I feel and claim within is expressed in the without. There is a balance, equilibrium, and equanimity. If you say, there is no way out, I am lost, there is no way out of this dilemma, I am stymied and blocked, you will get no answer or 37 response from your subconscious mind if you want the subconscious to work for you give it the right request and attain its cooperation it 
is always working for you. It is controlling your heartbeat this minute. And also your breathing. It heals a cut on your finger, and its tendency is lifeward, forever seeking to take care of you and preserve you. Your subconscious has a mind of its own, but it accepts your patterns of thought and imagery. When you are seeking an answer to a problem, your subconscious will respond, but it expects you to come to a decision and to a true judgment in your conscious mind. You must acknowledge the answer is in your subconscious mind. However, if you say, I don't think there is any way out, I am all mixed up and confused, why don't I get an answer? You are neutralizing your prayer. Like the soldier. Marking time, you do not get anywhere. Still the wheels of your mind, relax, let go, and quietly affirm, my subconscious knows the answer. It is responding to me now. I give. Thanks because I know the infinite intelligence of my subconscious knows all things and is revealing the perfect answer to me now. My real conviction is now setting free the majesty and glory of my subconscious mind. I rejoice that it is so. Review of Highlights 1. Think good, and good follows. Think evil, and evil follows. You are what you think all day long. 2. Your subconscious mind does not argue with you. It AC caps. What your conscious mind decrees. If you say, I can't afford it, it may be true, but do not say it. Select a better thought, decree, I'll buy it. I accept it in my mind. 3. You have the power to choose. Choose health and happiness. You can choose to be friendly, or you can choose to be unfriendly. Choose to be cooperative, joyous, friendly, lovable, and the whole world will respond. This is the best way to develop a wonderful personality. 38. 4. Your conscious mind is the watchman at the gate. Its chief function is to protect your subconscious mind from false impressions. Choose to believe that something good can happen and is happening. Now, your greatest power is your capacity to choose. Choose happiness and abundance. 5. The suggestions and statements of others have no power to hurt you. The only power is the movement of your own thought. You can choose to reject the thoughts or statements of others and affirm the good. You have the power to choose how you will react. 6. Watch what you say. You have to account for every idle word. Never say, I will fail, I will lose my job, I can't pay the rent. Your subconscious cannot take a joke. It brings all these things to pass. 7. Your mind is not evil. No force of nature is evil. It depends how you use the powers of nature. Use your mind to bless, heal, and inspire all people everywhere. 8. Never say, I can't. Overcome that fear by substituting the following, I can do all things through the power of my own subconscious mind. 9. Begin to think from the standpoint of the eternal truths and principles of life and not from the standpoint of fear, ignorance, and superstition. Do not let others do your thinking for you. Choose your own thoughts and make your own decisions. 10. You are the captain of your soul, subconscious mind, and the master of your fate. Remember, you have the capacity to choose. Choose life. Choose love. Choose health. Choose happiness. 11. Whatever your conscious mind assumes and believes to be true, your subconscious mind will accept and bring to pass. Believe in good fortune, divine guidance, right action, and all the blessings of life. 39. 3. The miracle working power of your subconscious. The power of your subconscious is enormous. It inspires you, it guides you, and it reveals to you names, facts, and scenes from the storehouse of memory. Your subconscious started your heartbeat, controls the circulation of your blood, and regulates your digestion, assimilation, 
and the lamination. When you eat a piece of bread, your subconscious mind transmutes it into tissue, muscle, bone, and blood. This process is beyond the ken of the wisest man who walks the earth. Your subconscious mind controls all the vital processes and functions of your body and nos. The answer to all problems. Your subconscious mind never sleeps, never rests. It is always on. The job. You can discover the miracle working power of your subconscious by plainly stating to your subconscious prior to sleep that you wish a certain specific thing accomplished. You will be delighted to discover that forces within you will be released, leading to the desired result. Here, then, is a source of power and wisdom which places you in touch with omnipotence or the power that moves. The world guides the planets in their course and causes the sun to shine. Your subconscious mind is the source of your ideals, aspirations, and altruistic urges. It was through the subconscious mind that Shakespeare perceived great truths hidden from the average man of his day. Undoubtedly, it was the response of his subconscious mind that caused the Greek sculptor, Critias, to portray beauty, order, symmetry, and proportion in marble and bronze. It enabled the Italian artist, Raphael, to paint Madonnas, and Ludwig van Beethoven to compose symphonies. 40. In 1955 I lectured at the Yoga Forest University, Rishikesh, India. And there I chatted with the visiting surgeon from Bombay. He told me about drive. James's day, a Scotch surgeon, who worked in Bengal before. Ether or other modern methods of anesthesia were discovered. Between 1843 and 1846, Dr. Este performed about 400 major operations of all kinds, such as amputations, removal of tumors, and cancerous growths, as well as operations on the eye, ear, aunt, throat. All operations were conducted under mental anesthesia only. This Indian doctor at Trishikish informed me that the postoperative mortality rate of patients operated on by Dr. Stay was extremely low, probably 2 or 3 percent. Patients felt no pain, and there were no deaths during the operations. Dr. Stay suggested to the subconscious minds of all his patients who were in a hypnotic state that no infection or septic condition would develop. You must remember that this was before Louis Pasteur, Joseph Listor, and others who pointed out the bacterial origin of disease and causes of infection due to unsterilized instruments and virulent organisms. This Indian surgeon said that the reason for the low mortality rate and the general absence of infection, which was reduced to a minimum, was undoubtedly due to the suggestions of doctors they to the subconscious minds of his patients. They responded according to the nature of his suggestion. It is simply wonderful, when you conceive how a surgeon, over 120 years ago, discovered the miraculous wonder-working powers of the subconscious mind. Doesn't it cause you to be seized with the sort of mystical when you stop and think of the transcendental powers of your subconscious mind? Consider its extrasensory perceptions, such as its capacity for clairvoyance and play audience, its independence of time and space, its capacity to render you free from all pain and suffering, and its capacity to get the 41 answer to all problems, be they what they may. All these and many more reveal to you that there is a power and intelligence within you that far transcends your intellect, causing you to marvel at the wonders of a tale. All these experiences cause you to rejoice and believe in the miracle working powers of your own subconscious mind.